G'day tubers, so I thought I'd give you another rundown during the day with all the cars driving past. We're currently charging at 115 amps and we're a little bit out of balance but that's fine because we're fairly low on the actual charge. Um, now this one's charging at about 60 amps, that one's charging at about 20 amps or 18 amps as that says or 21 amps, it goes up and down. And this one is charging at 37 amps. Now I thought I'd bring the thermal camera out and give you a bit of a bit of a look around and I thought I'm going to use the thermal camera to troubleshoot if this has got any problems and you know what I love thermal cameras and this is not my thermal camera unfortunately and look at that look at that for heat in those connectors the connectors are getting quite warm That one's not horrible, that one's not horrible. It looks like it's getting quite warm. Now if you go up to the top here, look at those two connectors at the end. They're a little bit warmer. Uh, where's my little cross hatch so I get a temperature? Those two connectors are about 50 degrees. So they are either not connected properly What's that one? It's 37 or so. It's hard to do the video in the in the thermal camera at the same time. So they're a bit warm, but those ones up there are hot. Come on, let's get the reflection out. So they're over 50 degrees. Both of those ones. So I better turn these charges off. And I bet you all that it is, is those two connectors are a bit tight, a bit loose. So I'll fix that up. I've also noticed that this pack here, pack eight, was a bit low on um, voltage. And as you can see there, the cables pulled off the top eight fuses. And that was very easy to see with the software because um, before I started charging, cell eight was way down. So I better turn this charger off have a see if I can fix those um those two make it a little bit better thanks mr. thermal camera okay with the powers of editing those both of those two I they were done up but they weren't done up tight enough so I've tightened them up a bit and they've already come down 10 degrees or so there we go can we see those so they'll come down a little bit more. So they were just a, they were just half a turn loose, and it shows how important it is to double check everything. And I should know that more than anybody else because I've done this before. Um, so there you have it. I'll turn this charger back on again. So what's this one doing? That one's doing 38. Um, so what do we do? Uh, okay charge source go utility apply okay and that one's set to 60 amps because i've got no solar on that so that's set to 60 amps minimize that screen down go back to the batrium dashboard so doing 34 amps at the moment that'll ramp up slowly and we're doing nothing from this charger here. Um, that is an LTEC. And again, that's completely charged and completely programmable by the Batrium, uh, by the Watchmon. And this will become, this won't stay down here. This will go up in my shed. So when I commission new packs, this unit will be able to charge all my batteries and charge them without wasting any excess power. Uh, so what have we got now? It's 48, so it's slowly coming online. I'm actually going to turn the other one back on again. I'll just turn that one on. So I'm running. And now it's slowly ramping back up. It doesn't just jump up, it just it slowly ramps up. There we go. Was that 60? 
There we go. That one just clicked and turned on. The, the watch will not allow that to turn on in a minute. It's shaky. 70 amps. Coming back up. Once we get up back, back up to 120 amps, we'll have a look at that um those terminals to see if they're still up in temperature or down. No use testing it under no load. Okay, so that's about that's about the top of the load with the inverter on that, about 90 amps. And the Alcon just, uh, Altec, I keep calling it Alcon, just kicked in. So that's doing 21, so now we're doing uh, 112 charging amps. 6,000 watts. How cool is that? And luckily we still got some burning sunshine, so it's not costing me nothing. And get the. Right, let's see if we can get the, the glare off of it. There we go, that's come back down in temperature nicely. So that would just half a turn loose. Oh, well, there we are, tubers. Here's an update. I'll see you on the next one.